Oh, hi, Sam. Oh, hello, Kev. How are you? I'm good, thanks. You? <sighs> Living the dream. Good. Sunny afternoon. It is a sunny afternoon. With my favourite, favourite partner in crime. Oh. And um, we're going to do a walk around with you. We are. Uh, Joel, I'm going to put these down because still the old eye pressure. It's still it's a bit light. Bless you. Uh, we've got a 2016 Q7. Yeah. You know the Q7 is my favourite of all seven seaters, don't you? Yeah. Uh, so let's show the people why they're so good. Okay. Uh, okay, this is how it's going to work, people at home. If you have not seen one of our A1 video walkarounds before, the lovely Samantha, which you can't see, but let me assure you, she is a lovely lady. Thank She's you. going to take you around the outside of the car. I'll spit some stuff at you while we do that. And then we'll take you inside, show all the features, take you for a little ride. Probably be the ride of your life. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, that'll be about it. Then you can go back to eating your dinner or whatever the hell you're doing. <laughs> Skiving off work, probably. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's do it. Okay. So, it's the 2016-16 Audi Q7 S-Line Quattro. It's a two-owner car, Sam. It is a two-owner car. Last chap had it quite a while, actually. I think the first owner was three years, last owner since then. Yeah. Decent service history, done about 3,000 miles ago. Uh, we have just spent a fortune on it through the workshop because we've done this and pads all round, yeah. and they are expensive. Yeah. I think we've just done about 1,800 quid through the workshop. Uh, had a little weep on the rocker cover, so we've done all those gaskets, redid all that as well. Uh, discs and pads all round, PDI, we'll just go for a new MAT just before it's sold. Uh, I think the discs and pads were about 1,100 quid. Yeah, they were expensive, weren't they? Tires are all good all round. Uh, this is the 204 brake horsepower, but obviously it's the same three litre diesel as all the rest. So you can, if you want, have it mapped, get a bit more brake horsepower out of it. Obviously, wink, wink, that's something we don't recommend here. Keep it within the manufacturer's parameters is what I say. Of course. Wheels are in nice nick, Sam. They are in really good nick, aren't they? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll tell you what, for uh, the mileage, this is in lovely condition. It is, yeah. You can see it hasn't been uh, badly abused, can't you? You can. Unlike me. And that's why wearing your sunglasses helps, because it does look like I've been badly abused and beaten. <laughs> it's, uh, I call to cover it, it up. That, that's the 90s for you, Sam. <laughs> 90s clubbing, mate. I wouldn't know. No, because you're about four. Um, I've got a couple of bits to point out, actually. Okay. Um, now, we're pricing this car very, very well, given the amount of prep we've done on it, uh, the condition it's in, and the backup you get buying from an RAC approved dealer, and as someone as good as us, say one car search, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I've only got, my pockets are only so deep. Uh, apart from this one, it's slightly deeper than this one, because this, this, I haven't actually got one here. So actually this pocket's a lot, anyway. Um, so there's a, a, a bit of lacquer peel here and here. We might see if we can touch it in and marry up the color, um, but it's just from stone chips really. Um, is there anything else on the outside? Around the outside? Around the outside? Uh, uh, what is there? A couple of little bits, but. Yeah, a few stone chips here and there, but it's but actually in really good condition. Amazing for 96K. Really, yeah, it really is. It's on the outside now. Yeah. Okay, should we um, go Let's inside? Go. Okay, Sam. Yeah. That is an engine. That is an engine. Well, it's not. It's a plastic cover, isn't it? Well, yeah. For an engine. Uh, but this is a very reliable V6 3 litre TDI. Uh, we were a VAG specialist garage. So now this is inside out. Uh, and they don't really go wrong. They're pretty good. Chain driven, no belt. Uh, happy days. Happy days. And plus, we've been in there, we've had it all apart, it's all good. Oh, oh Kev. There we go. Uh, right, there was uh, something else actually. Privacy glass on this one. Yep, nice. It's a nice feature. I mean, who opens the boot themselves nowadays? You obviously don't want to do that yourself, do you? I know it's first world problems, but actually having to open a boot. Oh, God. Uh, right, I'm gonna take it off now because I can see. Uh, right, so if I press these two bad boys. Whoa. That's pretty sweet, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Big old boot. Very big boot. Can I show you something even bigger? Yeah. <laughs> In that? Yeah. Okay, 
hang on, hang on. I'm not done. I'm not done. <laughs> Check Whoa. that out. I can, I can literally have a kid. <laughs> that is huge. Okay, come back later. <laughs> uh, and I'm like six foot one. That's unbelievable. Yeah. So if that you were, um, if you run a, an organised crime syndicate and you wanted to get rid of a lot of bodies, but you didn't want to do multiple runs all at once, because just think of the risk. This is your car, isn't it? This is the car. Please. I mean, if you were killing a lot of people because you had to get them, you know, they were the opposite gangs, how many people could you stick in here? Loads. I mean, loads. You could get rid of a whole gang. Yeah, you, you really know, could. Yeah. Mental. Um, okay, I think that's the boot done. Yeah. Uh, can you just... Oh, no, it's all right. I'll press the button because you're doing the camera. Yeah, I am. I was just being lazy. Whoa, look at that. Do love uh, an el electric erection. Yep. Okay, so come around here, my love. So if I just pop these, it's, what I quite like about these is you can recline them as well, yeah? Uh, uno momento. Oh. Okay, so you can you can do an, uh, a bigger recline or not. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. But what I, I quite like about it, uh, oh, look, my OCD, they're not in line, Sam. So. <laughs> uh, if, if I pull that forward, okay, then the, the, the little dude in the back gets more room in a memento. Yeah, nice. So if you're using them as actual seats. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. But I think most people aren't carrying seven people all the time no and the kids always go to the back anyway don't they yeah <laughs> and then you know look how much room so much room so there is two th uh, one thing in the back uh this heating thing all works but we're just missing the little cover off of this one yeah but uh, functionally it works and you've still got all the display that works as well and you know what probably not gonna do it no nope. but i'm just telling you yeah. Um, if I find one on eBay, I'll stick it on. Yeah. It doesn't affect the use, does it? So. No. And it is a 96,000 mile vehicle. Might have a few more in it because I might use it for a couple of weeks while my new car's coming. Oh. Uh, front? Yep. Stay. This is in good nick, isn't it? It is in really good nick. We've got some car mats to go in there as well, but obviously Toppy hasn't done them yet, has he? No, always leaves them to last. Always leaves them to last. I, I, I just do them first. It you, is really you're watching this as well, and you'll get ag. I'm, I'm telling him off online. <laughs> okay, this is actually in my driving position. As I say, that's how much room you actually get in the back with me driving. Uh, although I'm, I'm not like pimping myself out as a taxi cab. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I'm just like telling you like sizes, yeah? Yeah. Jeez. I could see in my home going, oh, it's getting round. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I'm in Wales, come pick me up. Lovely. No. Just buy it yourself and get someone else in there. Right, uh, obviously electric boot switch. Yeah. How can you do that bit? Yeah, we've got electric folding, heated mirrors, electric windows all round. We do. We have a uh, multifunction wheel, cruise control with speed limit, uh, flappy paddles. I mean, who actually ever sits there and plays with their flaps? No one. No one. You just leave it in auto mode, don't you? Yeah. And sit there and flap around. Uh, auto lights. Auto lights. Um, oh, we've got the mouse pad on this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'll let me borrow it. Yeah. So it's got the mouse pad. Um, oh, it's got my fingers in it. Like, my dad's <laughs> taking the picture. Do you know what I mean? Uh, and if someone's head was in it, I'd be cutting it off. Yeah. In half. Absolutely. Lose. Cannot take a picture to save his life. Um, mind you, uh, I think cameras, uh, when he was a lad, you used to wind them up. Yeah, probably Polaroids, probably earlier than Polaroids. Uh, anyway, look, people are getting bored. Uh, electric... Uh, heated seats. <laughs> heated seats. Um, that's the mouse mat, but you can change it all manually here. You've obviously got the pop-up screen there, which is a nice display on this one. Uh, DAB, or dual zone. It's four-way zone. It is four-way zone, yeah. Climate control, because it's got the back and the front. Yeah. can all be controlled independently. And what have got on the side, Sam? You've got your electric seats, you can adjust the backrest, yeah. the base of the seat. Yeah. And what is this? Is this the... That's the lumbar. The lumbar, yeah. yeah I always forget the like word. There's loads of shit you can do yeah, there. Yeah, nice. Like, does this bit in the middle here, yeah. look. It pulls it out, look. 
Oh yeah. That's what you need. Yeah. That right Ultimate luxury. Legs. Yeah. I don't like it actually. No, I don't either. No. Pointless. Um then it's got hill descent, or oh, all different driving modes, auto stop start. I mean the the specs on there, right? Oh yeah. Read it. Don't be lazy. But I don't people listen to me, don't they? Oh, of course they do. Of course they do. Um it's got um, Bluetooth music streaming. Um obviously hands free, right? Yeah. It's also got um if I can just turn that on, it's also got um digital display in the middle. Nice. Yeah, yeah, nice, yeah. Look, I'm I am i kinda of bored of doing this now. Yeah. Can we just um can we just go for a drop? What is that over there? Oh, three way jets. Mental. Yeah. Yeah. Um could you go for a drive? Let's go. Okay. Okay, Samantha. Okay. You ready for the ride of your life? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, right. So, I've gone northern. I don't know. We see, don't we? Yeah, they've all gone mad. <laughs> uh, right. Let's get this going. Let's give it some beans. National speed limit. Woo -woo. Oh, could you do me a favour? Yeah. Can you stick it into dynamic? Woo -hoo. Oh, that was a bumpy ride, right, wasn't it? It is that bit, uh, especially, isn't it? Once it gets on this bit, so I feel it hunker down because we were on comfort before, we were. and now we can go. I mean, that literally tears the road up, doesn't it? How much different is it in dynamic I know to comfort? It. Yeah, I've always noticed down these when I get in my S7s or whatever, um, even when she had her RSQ3 and all the higher ones that we had, mm. get it in dynamic mode, it hunkers down. Yeah. Bam. Uh, and this especially is, uh, for me, the best driving seven-seater. Oh, absolutely. Because it does everything, this one, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Like, there's only the XC90 that's the same sort of size in the price range. Yeah. Uh, Q, um, X5's not as big. GLE's just, GLE's just rubbish. Yeah, not great. And I only did a seven-seater on the later version, so you're, like, well into 30 grand. Yeah. And they're pants. Um, and then you're looking at all like the Jappy or Korean stuff. Yeah. Sorry, Japanese or Korean stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and just a bit of shit, aren't they? Yeah. They're not. They're like, all right. Never they're go okay, wrong. Okay. Yeah. But I want to like feel like I'm driving a prestige motor. And this does it all, really, doesn't it? It's okay. so nice to drive. Unbelievable drive. Light to drive. Yeah, really light. To like drive. even when I had my, I can't say. It, my Porsche Macan, not Macan, Macan, Macan. It's a Macan Kev. <laughs> Shut up. Um, you know, Thierry Henry is actually called Terry Henry, isn't he? Well, yeah. You know, might be called Thierry Henry in France, but here he's called Terry Henry. <laughs> anyway, this has got the vava voom, not yes. in. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, so it drives really, really light. Put in comfort. Happy days. Uh, get the clearance up in the off-road mode good in dynamic it i think these drive the best because they're still really comfortable they still ride the bumps really really well you know they've still got big thick ch chunky tires on but it just holds the road nice yeah it does you know inside is a really nice place to be it's a really well spec car all the dials and dashes laid out lovely um i am getting slightly warm though yeah me too can we turn, can we turn that up a bit yeah is that all right yeah you're better now yeah good uh, don't want you overcooking. No, absolutely not. I'll be thrown up in in front of court <laughs> for you know abusive abusive staff or whatever yeah, they call neglect. it. Yeah, or uh, terrible working conditions. Oh yeah, isn't that it? Yeah, yeah, poor working conditions. A bit like a Victorian um, a Victorian sweat house. <laughs> I can even say something else. Then. Uh, right. So, it's, if you want, can we sum up? Yep. If you want a seven-seater with loads of room, it's like a van if you pull the seats down. Yeah. That drives wicked. It's good round corners. It's unbelievable on the open road. Nice and light to drive, depending on what mode you put it in. Can be sporty, put it in sport mode. Really reliable. Look good. Yeah. Much better looking car than the XC90. Absolutely. Um, that's the one to go for, right? I think so. And then if you are looking for one that is going to provide you excellent value for money. Given this car at this mileage has still got loads of life left in it, 
plus we've spent a good lot of money putting it through our RAC pre-delivery inspection and get it up to our standards. Got pretty good tyres all around it, new distant pads all around. Been serviced recently, a brand new MOT, come with a six months warranty, which you can extend to three years yeah. on the platinum scheme, even with this age of mileage car. You can, yeah. And it's cheap. And it is cheap. 500 yeah. quid for two years, yeah. 700 quid for three years. That's because the lovely people at A1 subsidise those bad boys. They do. Which is us. Yeah. Uh, so summon all that up. And then on top, if you want to deal with a marvellous company like us, go on Google, search A1 Car Search, see what we're talking about. Yeah? Yeah. You get to do all this as well. Yeah, that is the best part of all, guys. Definitely the best part. Yeah. But I feel like I've been rambling. No, it's all worth it. It's all worth it. It's all worth right. it. Well, I'm not going to carry on. Okay. Uh, so we'll bid you adieu. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Ta-ta. Hi, guys. I uh, hope you've enjoyed your video so far. We're just going to spend a couple of minutes to tell you what we give away as an um, RAC approved dealer and basically what package you get from a1. Uh, Samantha's behind the camera again. She's going to fire a few questions at me and I'll just explain what we what we do. Perfect. So we're just going to start off with why should a customer buy from A1 and what makes us different? Well, I think probably the customer service we give is second to none. By all means, go on to Google, check out our reviews. If you're on Auto Trader, check out our reviews there and you'll see a bit about what we do. We're a family run business, been going nearly a couple of decades and uh, we just give really good service and we prepare cars to a very, very high standard. What does it mean to be RAC approved and what is included in the sale? Well, being an RAC approved dealer, we inspect every vehicle to RAC standards. So it goes through a pre-delivery inspection that's very vigorous. And if anything needs doing um, where it doesn't hit those standards, it obviously gets uh, done prior to sale. Uh, you get a, a RAC warranty, RAC breakdown, cover for a year and um, you can extend the warranty from six months all the way up to three years that is a platinum warranty uh, which is the best we can give away um, you also get uh, a year's MOT if the car hasn't been serviced within four uh, is due a service within four months or four thousand miles we'll also do that prior to the sale. What finance packages does A1 offer? So finance wise, we generally use close motor finance. We do use um, Motor Novo as well. Uh, the rates are as good as we can buy um, and we don't put any, anything extra onto the rates at all. We just give you what the finance company gives us. You can have PCP uh, if a car's up to five years old or 60,000 miles. Straight HP, we do leasing and lease purchase and hire purchase. And there's very various different uh, finance deals out there, but we'll tailor make it to what you need. Does A1 provide after-sales care for their customers? Yeah, we certainly do. If you're local to us in Sussex, um, we've got a lot of Brighton-based customers and a lot of people around, obviously, Burgess Hill and Hayward Heath. So yeah, we do uh, servicing, MOTs, repairs, um, bodywork repairs, detailing, all of that kind of stuff. Uh, and I think, Sam, have we covered everything? I think so. I think that's pretty much it. If you've got any more questions, just give us a call. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching.